Mark J. Terrell, Associated Press A disappointing first season with the Los Angeles Lakers seems to have pushed LeBron James to another level of frustration. For ESPN.com, S. Dave McMenamin, James provided a telling response when asked about the Lakers' front office building a roster of playmakers instead of shooters, that experiment, James said of the roster construction for his first season in LA, James stared out onto the court for a moment, turned his attention back to the conversation, pursed his lips and stuck out his tongue as he trumpeted air out of his mouth, making a raspberry sound, in fairness to James, questions about the players around him persisted throughout the offseason. The Lakers followed up signing the four-time NBA MVP by handing out a slew of one-year deals to Rajon Rondo, Lance Stevenson, Kentavious Caldwell-Pope and JaVale McGee. CBS Sports' James Herbert wrote an article in July asking what the Lakers were doing with their roster. The Lakers could definitely use a sharpshooter on the wing and a stretch four. If they don't add anybody who fits either of those descriptions, they will be betting on internal improvement. Kyle Kuzma might be able to bring his 36.6% three-point percentage up when he's receiving passes from the likes of James, Rondo and an improved ball. As funky as Ball's shot looks, he could become more consistent with his long-range jumper in his second season. Kuzma never found his three-point shot this season, with his percentage currently at 30.4%. Ball, who has been out of action since Jan. 19 with an ankle injury, shot 32.9% from three-point range in 47 games, the Lakers rank 29th in three-point percentage, 33.0, just ahead of the Phoenix Suns, 32.7. Ironically, they are tied for 24th with the Cleveland Cavaliers in offensive efficiency, 105.0, James and the Lakers will get an early start planning for 2019-20 when their season comes to an end on April 9 against the Portland Trail Blazers.